Hello everyone, my name is Lanto90 and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Buzz Aldrin Space Program Manager as the GSA in Sandbox mode. So it's been a whole day since I've played last, so I forget things before. I've forgotten even more by this point. <laughs> um, let's see, is a mission scheduled? Yes, uh, docking. 97.7% chance of success, so come on game. Give it a success. Everything was fine. <laughs> Point 0.1 progress on the rocket. Oh, that's bad. Alright. Mission... Um, let's watch this one. I haven't seen this docking animation, animation so I want to see it. Also, this should be one of my uh, achievements done if we pass this uh, mission. Oh, come on with this. Still doing this? Come on. 95% chance. Okay, just did the math in my head on the failure chance. Uh, there should only be one one hang up for every twenty steps in a mission. So so far, it's not doing that right now. But let's see if it goes crazy here in a bit. And then likewise, there's pretty much the same amount of success that'll... Same kind of number that'll fix that problem afterwards. Got like that transition of music. For some reason the American stuff doesn't have uh, audio though, which is strange. Yay, docking in space complete. It's weird that I don't even have to complete the mission to get that success. Oh no, not this close. Okay. Let's see it. It went overboard. How many chances of failure there should be? Should have only happened one time. Hey, seven thousand two hundred fifty prestige. A Gemini docking with an ATV. Target vehicle upgraded. Luna can't get any more successful. A 
Astronauts out of rest. Do my docking. Two more turns till the budget review. Oh, damn, I am at one of those little. Like I should have probably should have held on to the uh, Mercury program, but it's not terribly important. I should very easily be able to make this. In fact, we might like not even launch very much more right now. How uh, good to go is Mariner Five? Eh. That's pretty good. Suppose I could launch it. Not even sure how important it is I launch it though. I can probably just do another Gemini thing. I just need 300 more prestige. So if I just want to play it safe, I can just do like a. Probably even do an uncrewed one and get it. I don't know. Probably has to be crewed at least. Just do a regular orbital. Yeah, just a regular orbital flight with Jim and I would do it. Probably even do a suborbital. Yeah. It's less steps than a suborbital, so I might as well do that. But at the same time, it seems silly to go backwards at all. Or I can just do the next one. This would require a lot of people to do that thing. And we'll just do another orbital flight. Everyone else can go into training, I think. Once they're over 90%, I can start sending them to fit training instead of uh, piloting. Else who's left over? Squeeze out a little bit more skill. Um, you're maxed out on a skill, so I should just level up your weakest skill. Maxed out, so weakest skill. The way I check the weakest one quickly is to see whichever one has the biggest increase is the one that's the lowest. I think you are just in training for that anyway. You can still grow. Oh, you know what? The, uh, Painter's department screen. I might have to mess with that because uh, the funding sometimes resets when you exit the game and such. Yeah, I could round you up a number, but good enough. I should probably just level up your weakest swing, weakest score. Level up though. You can level up. Okay. Um... Can you can't? I just barely can. Yeah, I think this got reset. Not entirely sure, but not quite to a hundred percent. So, you guys are though. I don't know. I don't know if it reset or not. Slot 2. Do I want to reassign the research people? Probe guys can still squeeze out some progress, so. <clears throat> so I use 7k L1, though, it's pretty close to being done. 
It was the rocket that was like absolutely stuck, so let's go back and it really sucked because it's not very high reliability. Although this is this is the final rocket, so there's just no point to even reassigning them to anything. Likewise, so is the Saturn. Well, the Saturn V can can be replaced by the direct ascent one. But I think this Proton K was the absolute biggest uh, unmanned probe launcher we could get, so I might as well just keep people on it. I'm not going to reassign anyone. They're good. Alright, done this, so we'll just skip it. Marginal upgrades to the spacecraft, but that's fine by me. Press season people came back. Flight controllers graduated from advanced training. Flight controllers are continuing their training. So, so these were probably people who were in rep repetitive training and they finally finished their education. Yeah. Okay, so we're done for this season. So people just might as well keep training. So he's finally above 90, so I think I'm going to have him do fitness now. His other stats are actually pretty high. Or her other stats, I suppose. I think all their scat stats are increasing from these missions. Unless she was just high in those scores, I don't know. Okay. Rest of you. Oops. Yeah, this is my primary flight controller. He's really getting up there. It's about to have 90 and everything. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> my other flight controller... Almost everyone's going to start being able to do flight controlling after I, their skills get leveled up enough here. Good, I'll be able to start like safely launching as many missions as I want. As opposed to right now where I'm just... I'm just randomly sending missions mostly. I don't know if I need to upgrade to more people or anything yet. The uh, points, the uh, prestige requirement might still exponentially rise on me, but we'll see. One hundred and twenty thousand. So that's just thirty thousand plus twenty thousand, fifty thousand. Maybe it's not exponentially. Sometimes it's been times two, sometimes it's not. See, so two of you are back. Might just leave them off. Yeah. One's in training. That's why I have tons of money. Little tiny astronaut center. I'll upgrade things just for the heck of it. Mm 
researchers. Oops. On does Max? Oh no, that's Soyuz. Take people off Soyuz. We'll uh, research the next Soyuz spacecraft. Werner can still get up there. Zond 5 can still continue. These suits are pretty maxed out as well, but I don't know if I'm going to get a replacement one quite yet. But I can't actually select it, I just have to open a program that happens to have the EVA of a new kind of suit. There's no real point to changing these people. I can do this next, I think. One for the Soyuz moon landing. It's awfully big to just bring one person down to the surface, but oh well. Oh yeah, I didn't reassign them yet. Uh, let's just go to the main screen, that'll be quicker. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, that time I know I clicked on the right spot. Whoa. GLA automatic docking system. Weird. But a oh, it's a crude spacecraft actually. Ooh, lots of crude spacecraft stuff for the moon landing. I have no idea if that's the moon landing I should have been going for or not. Doesn't matter because it's not a race, but. It's kind of like doing the most efficient thing. Uh, any planned launches? No. These primary rockets are just digging forever. Okay. Just thinking about the moon program the choice I made. I think we've made the wrong one. Because we've been working on the American capsules and I'm switching over to the Russian space capsule at the end here. But it doesn't make sense. But well and likewise I also switched rockets at the last minute moments here, but it was kinda weird because uh go to the rockets here. The, usually, most of the Russian rockets carry the more weight. Here's there's the lowest level Russian uh, launch vehicle. Can launch 508 kilograms into space. The lowest level 
American launch vehicle can only send 11. <laughs> so if, like all the way through most of this, it's just the Russian rockets that dominate. Then at the end, between the N1 and the uh, Apollo, the Apollo launches more. Or wait. No, that's the Proton KD up there. So, um, N1 can send 23,500 to the moon. And Saturn V, probably just not even listed here because they already have it selected. Saturn V can send 47,000 to the moon. So. That's why I made that decision, but. Oh well, it doesn't matter. One more season for a lot of people to come back here. What about over here? Also one more season. I wonder if I should wait for everyone or if I should just start launching crap. Probably just launch a space probe now and be safe. You never know. Save it. Maybe we'll try to launch Mariner 5? Night director and booster person ain't the best. Oh well. I'll see if they can do it, otherwise we'll just reload. <laughs> Zero percent progress on the proton. Oh, that's sad. Um, is this our first mission to Venus? I think it is. I'll watch it. I think this is on a lunar rocket. Yeah, it's on the Luna. It's in so much on the lunar rocket, it's insane. I like it. Oh, now it's American. <laughs> That's like that funny. I just find that funny, this sudden transition from Russian music to normal music. Oh, that, uh... There was a little bit of a graphics error on that spacecraft. Did you guys see it at the end there? That top solar panel was, like, cropped off. Uh, they were a little bit lazy with this game, but well, I do like it. They're just uh, cut corners. Okay, level up on the Mariner Five. I don't think we can. Well, we can. It can send it again, but we don't need to. Structure of Venus. Astronauts graduated. Flight control graduated. SCT graduated. Back into repeat training. CT employees are back in from Mariner 5. Astronaut Center is upgraded. Upgraded again. Like, I think the more your buildings in general are upgraded, like, the bigger the entire space complex gets, which is just why I'm bothering to upgrade it at all. Plus, I just have so much money that's just never going to get spent. Four SET people. Oh, they're space probe people, right? So how much can I get out of uh, Mariner 5 for another launch? 150. Eh, it's not too important. Let's cut it off if I want. Just launch more Gemini's if we need more. It's P, I imagine. Ooh. 
Ooh, orbiters. Like orbiters. You know I don't like orbiters. But I do in real life. I like orbiters a hell of a lot, but this game. Orbiters are a bad idea. Ooh, yeah. going to Mars has two seasons though too. I'll try to we'll open it up and still do it. But... And get there on Luna. Ooh, this is our first one that can't get there with Luna. I'll have to launch a Proton K if I want to do it. Which I'm not opposed to. Wait, how come these ones can launch on human rated rockets? I gotta start testing the Proton K at some point, so. Sound ready. So I need to check out the other section here just to see if it's ready. Mostly. Although all of our astronauts and flight directors are available right now, so it might be a better time to do Gemini. As long as I save it first. A EVA and orbital rendezvous with a crewed vehicle. So, uh, so, uh, Well, I probably have enough people left, I can also still schedule the other one, too. Zond, if I want. Shall see. The last 11 people. They're not good enough to get into either mission. But I feel like they should just go through more training. So they're being left behind here. We're going through general training. You're maxed out, so... You either do propulsion's admission operation. So I'll do propulsion, because it's first on the list. two astronauts I need to hold on to. Oh, I'm gonna have four people who are too tired. 
we're gonna be in rest season, so... Actually having them on hand won't be enough. Not for Gemini. It's too many people. Anyway, uh, I'm out of time for this mission, uh, episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.